I wanted to do like a zombie fungus house for a while now and I had this perfect house spotted. Check this out. This is a freaking cool location. And the morning light like totally paid off. Pretty pumped about it. So when you're doing something like this, um, make sure you take pictures of your textures before you head into doing your matte paintings. It helps immensely. So I brought out my Lumix G7. Basically, it's the little brother or little sister to the GH4. It shoots 4K. I like that camera a lot because it's fairly on budget and it has a microphone input, which is super important for a lot of people that do YouTubing. But the other part is that 4K allows me to a little bit of flexibility in um, After Effects because I can zoom in and still retain some of that clarity. I'm shooting in 4K, but I'm shooting several times at different apertures so that I could get the results that I am anticipating I will need when I get into After Effects. All right, now I'm back in the studio. The first step is to export a TIFF from my footage. The reason why you use a TIFF is because you have less noise in it, and it's nice that I shot in 4K because it's gonna be a big TIFF. What I'll do is I'll use that TIFF, I'll bring it into Photoshop, and you can see me here like starting to paint over the top of it. At first, I'm just kind of sketching out an idea, and my idea is kind of like those Corset mushrooms that take over the bodies of ants or tarantulas. You can see right here that I'm experimenting with a few scales and relationships and different silhouettes and proportions to my zombie mushroom that took over this building. One thing you can do is bring in actual textures of other mushrooms and use them as an overlay layer. And that'll kind of help you get the texture of your mushroom as you draw it or your fungus as you draw it. It'll make it look more convincing. Once I get my mats done, you'll see I put everything into uh, After Effects and I start working with the composite. The film I shot was daytime, so I color tint it to be more of an evening shot and then I add some effects. You'll notice I put in some glows and a little bit of particle work and i also pan the camera a little bit and that's one of the advantages of using 4k like i said this is a cool project because if you have access to adobe cc you have all the software needed to do these type of home uh, movie effects and if you're shooting to be a concept artist you're going to have cc anyway and if you're a student you can even get a cheap license for cc so I really dig this project because it's one that can give great results, but also is one you can do without a ton of money, and it's also something that'll look cool in your portfolio. It's looking pretty good now, and uh, I'm excited for you guys to see the final results. So this is a perfect project for a young concept artist or a young artist who is super creative and wants to get into film industry or game industry and you don't have a lot of budget and you don't necessarily have access to school yet. Find yourself a copy of CC and grab a camera and go do some film effects on your own. It'll be great for your portfolio and you're going to learn a ton in the meantime and it won't cost you a whole lot but you'll be so much better for it. Thanks for being a buddy. I really appreciate the support and I hope you like this video.